Hey everyone, so in today's quick tip we're going to take a look at how you can use minimize retracts to keep your tool down between depth of cuts for two axis profiles. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we have our job set up and we're ready to load in some machining features. We're going to right click on machine setup, come down to mill to axis, and our first step here is to select the geometry we want to profile. So we'll left click on select geometry and then we're going to pick the bottom edge of the profile we want to machine. By picking the bottom edge, we select the profile we want to machine, but then we also pick up the depth at the same time. We'll go ahead and check this down. We'll come to our machining strategy, and in this example, we're going to look at just a profile rough. We'll load in our tool size. Uh, we're going to set our depth of cut. I'm just going to make it a, a shallower depth of cut, so we get a couple passes here. We'll go to our leads, add our circular lead in, and then we'll hit compute. All right, now we'll come over to our default chain start point. We're gonna just reverse direction and recompute to get the toolpath cutting on the proper side. We're gonna right click on our profile feature and choose backplot, so this way we can visualize what the tool's actually doing. And what we're gonna see is in each pass, you can see how the tool goes to clearance, moves over, and comes back down. We want to eliminate this extra Z moves between passes, and there's a really easy way to do it. Just edit your feature, okay? You're going to come to parameters, and down here you're going to see a checkbox called minimize retracts. We're going to turn this on, okay? And then we'll recompute our toolpath. What this will do is keep the tool down between passes and eliminate the additional Z moves between each depth of cut. I recommend you give this feature a try in your next project.